All month long, we're honoring the trials and triumphs of being black in the Bay. And today, we're talking about music, a tool that's been used throughout history by black people to liberate their mind and body. So this morning, the one and only <laughs> DJ Black is joining me. And you've really been called Bay Area's mother of DJs. You yes. know that. You probably hear that all the time. So you served as a community grand marshal for San Francisco's Pride Parade last year. But let's start at the very beginning. What kind of made you become a DJ? I came to Pride when I was 21, and mm -hmm. I saw this sister, Chris Carrillo, playing, and it was a woman, and I hadn't seen that. I was like, I'm going to do this. And so I saw her do it, and I went to L.A., mm -hmm. met up with this woman, sexy DJ. I played at the Catch One, and then I got hooked. I came back here, and I made it a, I made it a thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be a DJ. Uh -huh. And this is a big thing. I mean, you, you, your career is a lengthy one. You played for Tony Tony Tony. You played for Erica Badu. And you really put together some of Bay Area's biggest parties. And some of those parties are obviously in the club scene. So when you first arrived here, describe the club scene then versus now. Well, for me, I was trying to look, look for a black scene that wasn't mm -hmm. there. So I had to create a scene. And I started this party called The Blunt which stood for Asians, Blacks, and Latins uniting new tribes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want to be able to play hip hop in a club. And it wasn't, they weren't doing it. At least in the queer club, they weren't doing it. And I was like, what do I need to do to make this happen? So I was like, I need to start at the basics, start with the party, be a producer, and come up that way. So I was a producer and a DJ, you mm -hmm. know, which usually were not the same. You didn't do the same things. Producers hired you out to be the DJ. Right, right. So I was like, I'm going to promote these parties and mm -hmm. make that happen. Yeah. For these women out here. Exactly. <laughs> and you really created that inclusive space, putting together those parties, like the one you said, the Blunt Party and others. So when it's all said and done, DJ Black, what is it that you would like to leave? What legacy would you like to leave? Because you've kind of created this space. You said you didn't see very many black areas that you could do what you do. In. Well, you know, just to honor Pam the functions, I want people to be on that level of that we can be behind DJs. Women can mm -hmm. be behind artists and be a sound, be an instrument. And to have more and more women be turntablist and to know the skills starting from the bottom to the top would be a great, you know, way in which to honor mm -hmm. one, one those the person who did it the most bay area's finest mm -hmm. uh, pam but you know that we are being able to see more women be behind the turntables yes and we love to see that tell us really quickly about uh what day i'm doing march 31st okay. at the oakland museum from four to nine they're friday nights and it's going to be a she talk and uh we're gonna have uh, a lot of great um, um uh, performers king boo um uh, we're going to have panelists. Nice. And I'm uh, just going to talk about what it means to be a woman. How do we weave a possible future going right. forward? Yeah, really good stuff. And you're also spinning in Oakland at Oeste this Sunday, February 17th. So, DJ Black, thank you so much for being with us. And thank you for the uh, the legacy you've already left on the DJ scene here. Thank, thank you so you. much. Happy Appreciate Black that. Month. Yeah, we'll be right back.